everybody. Welcome. Hi. Hello, Marky. How are you? I'm <laughs> good. Welcome to Disabilities Redefined with Dr. Wagner. Uh, Marky, you call me Truett, okay? Truett, <laughs> yeah, Truett. <laughs> and uh, we are here with Melissa and Marky. I'm going to, Hawkes, is it? Hawkes? I want to say Yeah, Hawkes. Okay, Hawkes. Okay. And uh, they are wonderful, wonderful people. We've been in touch for uh, quite a while now, so we finally got them on this show. And um, we have another guest with us today. <laughs> now, this is Jagger. Jagger. Hi, Jagger. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Jagger. Because, Marky, we know you love animals. Uh -huh. That is just one of the many things we have in common. Mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of things in common, and we're going to talk about that in a few minutes. But this mm. is Jagger, and he's my little dog. And he is, although he might be small in size, he is a handful, believe me. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah. We, we, have a yellow, we, we have a yellow puppy, too, that he's also a handful. Huh? Yeah, he thinks he's a great dang. Yeah. <laughs> we, we right. call him... We call him the, the little terrorist. The little terrorist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. He's a handful. But now, Marky, you love animals. How many animals do you have? Um, I have uh, four. Four, uh, I have four animals. Well, you have four dogs and one cat. Yeah, so I have, I have five. I have five. Yeah, because we have a cat. Yeah, we, yeah. Have, a, we have a little unsavvy cat. Yes, and I have one dog and two cats. Okay. But now you, Marky, now King David is your pet, but he also is a support animal, and, and is he a show? Now you are showing the animals too, I, I understand. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah I, I saw some beautiful pictures of, of, of those animals with you, Marky. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yes, okay. Now also, now that's one thing we've got in common. Now you're going to love this, Marky. Now, I saw you in the interview you did with uh, Special Books for Special Kids with uh, Chris, uh, Chris, uh -huh. uh -huh. and I noticed you had a mohawk. Yeah, so I, I have to wear a hat over it. That is okay, because I have to wear a hat over mine, too, especially, especially during the summertime. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it, yeah it, 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 especially with my condition, it yeah. makes me so hot and itchy. Yeah. yeah. Especially with my condition. Huh? But now, when I was young, I, too, had a mohawk. <laughs> <laughs> well, how young was you? Uh, how long was yours? Well, I, well, mine was, it was like a different style at the time. It was kind of thinner, like yours is, is, is shorter and wide. But yeah. mine, mine was actually uh, thinner and um, long. So it kind of looked like a rooster. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Was it kind of like spicy, like, yeah. like sticking out? Yeah. So was, it, so was it Flock of Seagull style or was it more David Bowie style? You know, similar, and it wasn't my hair. Actually, I was doing, uh, back in my first line of work, I was actually uh, doing some modeling and acting, and someone put a mohawk on my head for Oh, no. Yeah. But I, and I kept it there, and I loved it, because it was yeah. with a kind of a sticky glue. So uh -huh. I, went, I went around for the next two or three weeks or so with this great mohawk. Oh, and wow. everybody <laughs> thought, <laughs> so when I saw Marky in the interview, I thought, oh, great, that's another thing we've got to do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 everybody loves when you hire. Yes, especially when I would go down to the East Village. Mm -hmm. Oh, I bet, yeah. Yes, everybody yeah. loved the Mohawk in the East Village. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so Marky, uh, I understand that you are very close with your family. Mm -hmm. Okay, now this is another thing we have in common. We were both very, very, very close with our mothers. How how are you very close with your mother? Uh yeah, I am. I'm actually I'm yeah I'm a I'm I'm a I'm actually a mama boy. That is quite all right because yeah so, I'm a, I was I'm a big <laughs> yeah I'm a big old mama boy. 
and there is nothing wrong with that, believe me. Yeah. I think all boys are mama's boys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, but uh, um, some boys, daddy boys, think. Mostly mama's boys. She was yeah. daddy's girl and mama's boy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm a mama's boy and she's a daddy girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, listen. You know, Margie, I think that's great, and I'm like you, and I think at the end of the day, we are all mama's boys. Uh, uh -huh, you know, we are, yeah. At the end of the day. And I always wanted to uh, show my mother on TV, and I thought, you know what, since Marky is going to have his mother, I'm going to take this excuse to show my mother. Oh, oh she's beautiful. She is. She's pretty. Yeah. You look just like her. I do look like her a lot. You know, she... she she uh, passed away when I was doing my dissertation, Aww. so uh, I finished up, and um, you know, so she was uh, she was a great woman, and um, yeah. So Marky, we have that in common too. We have a lot yeah. of things in common. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Okay, so Melissa, now yes, his, his disease is the, the, the now there's a terminology called butterfly. Uh -huh. Yeah, but now the exact name is uh, short as E B F F D Say, say it for me right quick. Epidermolysis villosa. Yes, okay. Now, what exactly, in a nutshell, is that for, yeah. So there's, there's different types, and the type that Marky has is the recessive dystrophic, meaning that both the parents have to carry the gene for the child to receive the disease. And in a nutshell, it's they're born without the collagen seven that connects and binds the skin, yes. so there's no anchoring system. Right. And there's only one layer. Instead of the seven layers, they only have the one, and it's not anchored to the tissue underneath. So okay. any type of friction, any type of rubbing, takes the skin completely off. Right. Okay. Uh, uh, and it's anywhere he has skin and mucous membranes. So uh, he gets it in his eyes, in his mouth, in his throat. Mm -hmm. am, I, am, I, am, I, am I immune system? No, but no, there is... Stanford University, now you're involved, I understand that you're involved with some uh, trial cell uh, procedures. Uh, yeah, yeah, for, uh, yeah, for some uh, stem cells. Stem cells, yeah. Stem cells, okay, and, and, and now is it is it on hold due to COVID-19? Yes, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then, and it, then, but now after it's, after COVID has been released and we're back to somewhat of a normal routine, whatever, yeah. whatever that's going to look yeah. like. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah. Will you guys go back and continue on with the trial process? Well, we never started the trial. We never, uh -huh. we've never okay. been able to get out there because we were so we were accepted in April. Uh, between April and May, we were officially accepted. Uh -huh. um, but then everything happened. I mean, the world just kind of blew yeah, up in yeah. March. So yeah, your whole COVID and writing, the writing, yeah. So yeah. everything's kind of on hold indefinitely until. Um, they're released because it's not, it's a, it's a trial basis. So they're not covered under the same type of guidelines that just a regular hospital visit or treatment is. So right. it's all, it's all donation funding. So um, they have to jump through about a thousand hoops before they get the okay. Yeah. Okay. But I, my, from what I've read, I think it's going to work out. Yeah. We're, yeah. we're really excited yeah. about it. It's not a cure, no. but it's a step in the right direction. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah right. Because. Yeah, because um, it, it's supposed to, isn't it supposed to like make my skin confused like I have the yeah, it's to, it's it's supposed to Essentially, it's supposed to trick his body and his system into believing it, he's producing the collagen seven. Yeah, <laughs> and, and it's supposed to and make it heal faster, make my body heal faster, um, um, and, and cut the pain in half, and, mm -hmm. and, 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 it will, uh, and it's supposed to add uh, Five more, um, uh, five more years on me. Yeah, if, if, uh, if, if his body's, if his body accepts them, because right. there's always that chance that it won't. So if it does, it's there's supposed to be some great added benefits. Yeah, right. cut right. the pain I have, and I and I give me five more years too. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, it, 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 uh, you just summed it up, Marky. I think yeah. you, I was, that, I was going to ask a question that that was yeah. one of the um, advantages that you will hear. Yeah. About yeah. So you answered mm -hmm. that question already. Yep. Okay. So now, Marky, you have met a lot of famous people. You and your <laughs> mother, I see you and your mother everywhere. Uh, I see Robert Davy, uh, what uh, Austin Dillon, and, and, uh -huh. yeah, Austin Dillon, Josh Dillon, uh -huh. yeah, 
Yeah. Yes. Now, now you got it. Now, what was it? The glass boat? You were swimming with the sharks? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we went, yeah, we, um, we went to, um, um, Moya Beach. Moya, uh, Moya Beach for my, um, for my, uh, yeah, my 19th birthday, yeah. yeah. So, Melissa, yeah. what is an average day, if, if such a thing could exist? Because I see you all out and about all the time, it looks mm -hmm. like, you know, and I, I see you yeah. sleep. Yeah, so what would, what would an average day be like? So, um, everything is always dependent upon his pain level and his skin in the mornings. So, if I get him up and at or after about 20, 30 minutes into his bandages, if I see that there's not a whole lot of excessive bleeding, if there's not some really just deep and, um, you know, egregious wounds and he's in uh, good spirits, right. then we, and it's not blazing hot outside, uh, then we yeah. take full advantage of it and we, we find stuff to do because there's yeah. so many times that, um, you know, just a week or so ago, he was in bed literally 24 seven for uh -huh. seven days straight because of just his condition. So... Uh Following that, um, we try to do as much as we possibly can. And I said he put on my back. Yeah, with yeah. weather allowing. So, yeah. and his skin allowing. So, an average day, if his skin allows it, is getting up, um, him, of course, loving on his animals. Yeah, and me feel good. Yeah. And it's pretty much, I let him decide. You know, I let him decide where he wants to go, what he wants to do, who he wants to see. Um, he's a really good, he loves going to the gym with me because he's made friends with a lot of the staff there. Right. I, um, so, and that's usually, so I go to the gym Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Tuesdays are hospital days. Yeah. So, um, hospital right. days is when he gets his IV um, iron and his Darboquitin. Right. Okay. Yes. Okay. So yeah, because I, I I read that he um while you were doing your uh, 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 gym gym routine and uh -huh. yeah you know, Pilates or whatever he has yep. a lot of friends in there and so yes. he goes yeah. to the gym yeah. as well. Yeah. People people tend to uh, want to be around Marky quite a bit. Well, I, I that's um, I was doing my homework on YouTube. That, that seemed to be the case that you um were said that he's a people lover. Everybody oh, yeah. loves him. Everybody. Yeah, I, yeah. I love to talk to people. And he's never friends. met a stranger. Uh uh. <laughs> because people keep saying that if they, they keep getting a, they something uh, about me that they get attracted to and they, they want to be my friend. Huh? I always tell them it's his life. Mm -hmm. uh, because yes. I had readers in me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you all are very well lit. You know, I'm going to let the audience know. I love the way you look because you, you, uh, 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 th th there's a frames behind you with the <laughs> light coming there. And it's not good technically, but I just like it. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> you can also admit. Yeah, 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 that, would be, that, that would be the deep exciting boy in me. Yes, exactly. That, that would be him, huh? That's Jesus. Yeah, and I like yeah. it. So I just left it like you know, They told us in, uh, from day one when we were doing the show, don't have light behind you. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I just left it like it was because you're all, you're. it's like you've got such light and power behind you there, Marky. Yeah. And I want to yeah, give yeah, everybody... Yeah, 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 probably another reason why you couldn't see me, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> because it was too black. Because it's too it was too bright, yeah. It was too bright, but I think it was your dad who pulled the shades down. Yeah, and yeah. It's yeah. Still, and it's still bright, but it's so, mm -hmm. I love the way it looks. So yeah. I left it like it is, because this is yeah. my show, and if I want to put you in the spotlight, I'll do it, okay? <laughs> yeah. uh, final question for both of them. How important do you two believe it is that, and Marky is so, art Marky, you are very articulate, very personable. This has been a very great, and I don't think I'm going to have to do much editing to this. <laughs> I've had such a great time. How important do you two believe it is to tell his story? Marky, how important do you believe it is to tell your story? And Melissa, as a mother, how important do you believe it is to tell his story? Want to answer first? Um, I want you to. Okay. So the reason why I believe it's so important is because when my middle son, um, his brother was alive, um, I worked constantly, constantly, um, sometimes up to 16 hours a day. And I never really had the opportunity or the, or the chance, because this was before I met my, my husband. So I was a single mom. I was working constantly. I really couldn't tell their story or my story because it was just spent working constantly. Yes. Um, and social media was not 
anything the way that it is right now. Um, and so when we kind of, I kind of fell into being able to tell his story first by special books by special kids, because we'd already had such a close an amazing group of people that we were surrounded by, our church family, uh, my close family, my husband's close family. We really didn't, I couldn't comprehend going on beyond that because all of mine and my husband's time was spent um, keeping him as healthy as possible, especially after the grieving process of losing my son. And when we were given the chance by Chris, it kind of like brought me to the realization that there's so many people out there that for one have never heard of EB, and then on top of that, have never really come across a child with EB with his strong sense of faith. Um, you know, you're born with a disease like this, and it's so easy to go the other way, to be angry, to be, you know, you know, and so and don't get me wrong, I still have my moments of anger because of seeing of the pain that he's in, but our faith brings us out of that anger and brings us into a positive light because we know no matter what, this is all ordained by God, and it's for people, I believe, to bring them closer to God through Marky's story and through what he goes through every single day. Mm -hmm. And so it's important for me to pe for people to see not only EB so we can bring awareness and find a cure, but also, hey, no matter what you're going through, you can always look at it in a positive manner. There's always something positive to find in any situation you may going be going through. And I, I commend anybody who can find that positivity in whatever avenue they can you know, but for us, it's through our faith. And so, I mean, and I'm always open to people who message me on Instagram constantly that may not believe in God, but they still reach out to me and say how they love our positive outlook on life. That's, I, I love that. I love that because we are, you know, we, we do try to find positivity in everything. And, but like I said, for us, our faith is what gives us that positive outlook. Um, and so, and, and Mark, you know, even in his pain and his bandages, he still wants prayer. He still wants worship mm -hmm. music. He still wants, you know, and so, I mean, and that's what gives him that, that kind of a, um, to, to get through it. Right. Guys, it has been an absolute pleasure. Thank you yes. all so much. Thank you so much. Thank you.